Hey everyone, we've just finished adding some awesome new functionality to Card and Cloud. So we've developed a brand new picking mode that you can use for shipping sales orders out of the system. We've also implemented all new pallet handling functionality that you can use when moving the stock throughout the warehouse. And we've also implemented end-to-end -end serial number scanning. So that means that you can now track serial numbers on the way in. You can then reallocate stock, which means you can pick alternative stock to what was assigned to the order. And then you can ship those serial numbers back out again at the end. From the switch mode screen, I've now got a new option here called task picking. Now this brings you into the new picking functionality that we've implemented. You can still access the old picking mode if you would like to, but the new one is there as an option. So I tap into that and that brings up my new list of sales orders. Now we've called it tasks because over time we're going to be moving more and more functionality into this new screen. So from here you'll be able to do things like replenishments, putaways, stock moves, uh, everything from kind of the one organized list. Now when I'm in here, I've got the filter options just like you would expect from the old app. So you can group by customer or you can just show all the orders in a big list. But one new thing that we've implemented is assigning orders to pickers. So if you see down here, from, from the web app now, you can actually allocate orders to specific people so that they can go and pick them in the warehouse so that they know which work has been assigned to them. At the moment, I've got the app showing me orders which are assigned to me, assigned to others, and are unassigned. So if I go into a list of one of these, these customers, I can see up in the top right corner the picker that's assigned. So this shows their initials. So in this particular case, these orders are all assigned to Brit. But if I want to just find the stuff which is assigned to me, I can just untick those other two options, bring that up, and now I can see that I've got an order assigned for Tech Supplies Burley, and I can just start picking that order. So it's got my little initials up in here, and it's also got it colored blue, which just makes it, makes it easier when you've got a big list of all of your different orders to tell which one is for you. When I go into that now, uh, like you would see from the old sales order uh, process, you can go in and click start task if you just want to start picking that order. But equally, if I needed to start picking an order that had been assigned to somebody else, I can do that. So I'm just going to show everyone's orders again and go into an order which is assigned to Brit. And I now have the ability to take over that task as well, because we understand that sometimes people can be partway through doing work and you know, they get called away or they have to go and do something else and you just need to be able to take over what they're doing. Something else which is really cool here is that we've actually added any special instructions, special packing instructions or special delivery instructions to the top of the item screen. So you can see them straight away without having to jump to the details tab just to make sure that that information doesn't get lost. On the list itself, another thing that we've added is we now show you the size of the order. So we actually specify in here the number of SKUs that are on the order and also the total base unit of measure quantity that's on the order. And we added that just because we found that in some cases people were having to click in and out of orders to sort of find you know, which one was small or large enough for them to go and pick. So we made that information available to you on this initial screen. We've also done some other really cool stuff too. So if I just um, jump into an order assigned to me, uh, and I can see here I've got this order for toy supplies. Now one of the really neat things that we've done is now when you're picking an order, it actually shows you those conversion measurements. Because we know that before in the old app, it was sometimes getting confusing when you say you needed to just pick a pallet, but it would tell you to go and pick 200 units, for example. So if I go into this first line item, which is for the plush toy, what you can see here is that it actually gives me a recommended picking quantity. So it tells me on the screen, just pick one bulk bag, and that's, that's equal to 200 units, which you need for this particular item. So I could then go and scan the barcode for the pallet, or I could scan you know, the item barcodes if I wanted to. If I don't have any barcodes to, to scan, then I can just go and increment by that other unit of measure quantity. So we've made it much, much easier for you to be able to deal with you know, much larger quantities than just a few units. The other thing too is if I slide down from up here, I get a bit of extra information. So if this particular product had expiry dates or batch numbers, that information appears up under here as well. Hit confirm 
and it just goes back to the list. You can also jump to the details tab. This again provides all of the information about the order as you would expect. Um, and you can go through the process, you know, as you would using the, the old app. The other thing we've added, and we've got some other videos which show exactly how this whole process work, is this concept of reallocation. Now, this enables you to pick alternative stock to the stock which is allocated to that order. So let's say, for example, I had a whole lot of stock, all of the same product, um, but it's in a long line and I can't access, you know, the pallet that was allocated because it's a long way back behind me. With reallocation, I can use that to go and scan the pallet that I'm taking or the particular product that I'm taking and it will just swap that out and assign that to the order rather than having to go back to a computer and manipulate it in some way.